have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And here, if you were new viewer on my channel, hello girl, and welcome to my channel. I hope that you will enjoy watching this video and you will find this video helpful. And then you will decide to click that subscribe button down there for you to become a part of my beloved family. So for today guys, I am back with another beginner's guide to makeup and today we are going to discuss about grooming and then filling in your brows. So if you wanted to know more about that, just keep on watching. Brow shaping and grooming is very important in achieving that key light to die for. So today, I will be showing you guys two ways on how to shape and fill in your brows. But before that, let me show you guys first the parts of our brows. So the parts of our brows are the inner corner or the brow head and that is the starting point of our brows. Next one is the arch, it's the curve on the eyebrows and then lastly is the tail or the end of your brows. Now that we know that, let us continue with the first method of brow shaping and filling in your brows. So the first method is using a brow stencil. This method is perfect for beginners since it's very easy to shape your brows using it. All you have to do is to choose the brow shape that you want or suit your face shape and follow the stencil to fill in your brows. As you guys can see, it has letters to it. So letter A goes with the inner corner of your brows. Letter B goes on the arc. And lastly, C goes on the tail part of your brows. But sometimes the shape of your brows looks thinner or shorter so you still have to touch them up. Okay, so the next method is the manual measuring of your eyebrows. This method is a little bit harder since you need to be precise in doing it. And the things that you will be needing for this method is of course an eyebrow pencil and something to measure your brows like a card or in my case I am using the mixing spatula on my mixing palette. Just use something thin to have a precise measurement. Then after that start measuring the inner corner of your brow. So what you will do is to align the card on the inner corner of your brows down to the bridge of your nose and put a dot or a mark on the inner corner of your brows. So that is the starting point of your brows. Then after that, look straight and slightly slant your measuring device. Then align on the center of your pupil and then put a mark. And that mark signifies the arc of your brows. And then lastly, put the card on the side of your, your nostril, slant the card, and put it on the side of the outer corner of your eye towards the end of your brows, and then put a mark again. So that mark signifies the um, tail of your brows. And then after that, just connect the dots that you've created and fill in your brows. Okay, so now that we've already have the shape of our brows, all we needed to do is to shave or pluck the excess hair beyond the shape. That is the first step of grooming our brows. Next thing is to get your eyebrow scissor and spoolie, then brush your brow hairs downward. Then cut the hairs that goes beyond the line or shape of your brows. After that, you can now clean your brows to make it look more precise. Just use your foundation or a concealer to clean the edges of your brows and voila! You've achieved the key light to die for. 
so that is it for the beginner's guide to makeup for this week guys i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope that you learned something from this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for you guys to become updated on my new video uploads and for you guys to become a part of my beloved family so yeah that is it for today guys so thank you so much for watching you guys know that i love you so much don't forget what i always say to you guys don't let your dreams just be dreams make your dreams possible and i will see you guys on my next video bye